<clears throat> All right, getting my gloves on. All right, going to be kind of a shorter live stream today. So what I have is two 12 by 16. And so I'll just give it a moment. I'm shaking up a little bit of white. I am going to flood the canvas with white. This first one will be a toilet paper roll uh, paint pour. So we're going to use a toilet paper roll essentially as like an open cylinder. just cleaning off a palette knife to spread the white. I'm a little bit unprepared. I usually have that sort of stuff, clean off the palette knife, get everything ready uh, before the live stream, but that's okay. Hi, Carla, how are you doing? How was your weekend? All right, so we're gonna use a toilet paper roll, just an empty toilet paper roll to paint but let me get the canvas flooded with white real quick and this is a 12 by 16. pretty good all right that's awesome yeah mine was pretty good as well quite a bit of white i actually am gonna just save time and take the lid off and pour it a little bit faster hey h7 how are you doing how was your weekend Mine was well, always goes by a little bit too quick. All right, just going to get that white spread about as best I can. It was productive working on your project. All right, that's awesome. My weekend was productive as well. Been getting everything prepared and ready for all the holiday bazaars and art fairs and that's all coming up. So I've been painting ornaments and doing all that stuff. And getting everything varnished and just, you know, cleaned up. All finished up. It's so easy to do these paintings. And then I hate doing the, the final touch-ups, the final varnishing, all that. All right, we got a nice base layer of white down. Just shake off that excess there. Hey, Diana, how are you? How are you doing? I'm grabbing a couple of colors here. All right. We're going to use a toilet paper roll. Yeah, um, the bazaars are a pretty big deal here. Uh, I was talking with Diana about that. We have so many bazaars. And some of them have several year waiting lists. Um, all of the high schools, churches, middle schools, um, just all these different places have these big bazaars throughout, um, throughout the year or throughout the holiday season, I mean. I'm going to add silicone only to the one brown. So I'm trying to get these all shook up. Usually I shake them all before. Hey, Hot Mess Missy, welcome, welcome. Yes, we are live. I'm getting ready to do paint with a toilet paper roll. I'm gonna actually just set it right about there. I'm getting all the colors nice and shook up. It's gonna be a mixture of some browns, blues, teal. Yeah, a couple of the bigger high schools have like four and five year waiting lists. It's crazy. The the 
bazaars and all that are huge deal around here. So um, I'm doing one that gets about 10,000 people. So that was Pebble. And then here's some China Blue. Tuscan Teal. And then remember our brown is the only one that's got the silicone in it. And that was burnt umber for the brown. And then anti white. And then I'm gonna throw a little bit of turquoise in there. And I bumped it and all a lot of paint come up, but that's okay. We're gonna. I'm going to catch up a chat. Oh, three to five hours long. Our bazaars tend to be from, they tend to all be from nine to four or nine to five. Nine o'clock in the morning till five o'clock or nine o'clock until um, four or five. They all tend to be about that. Okay. I just threw a little bit more paint in there, guys. All right. Hey, Dina and Chrissy's channel. Hey, everyone. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming. I'm going to set a couple of these aside. I'm going to torch it before I start tilting it around. How was everyone's weekend? I hope everyone had a nice weekend. It went by too quickly for me. We had a three-day weekend, but it wasn't... Um, the kids around here do not get uh, the Monday uh, Columbus Day or whatever you want to... I hate Columbus Day, the holiday Columbus Day. But uh, we don't get Columbus Day off around here, which is kind of cool that the schools do that. What they get is Friday off, and it's just a teacher in service day or something they call it. All right, guys, I'm looking at this one. I'm trying to decide, you know, usually uh, if you watch a lot of my lives, a lot of my videos, I get out my little thing and I blow out the edges. I'm really kind of liking the way the edges ended up on this one. So not sure if I really will. What do you guys think? I might just leave it. It looks like a frog. Yeah. So you. You did your salmon fishing. How's your knee, Dina, after doing all that moving tree stands and salmon fishing? How's your knee doing? Yeah, that's that's cool, Dana, that a lot of the areas are stopping doing Columbus Day. That's that's good. Oh, it's hurting bad. I'm going to see if I can stretch it anymore without losing it, but I think we're about done. Yeah, I think I'm just going to kind of leave it like that. It doesn't really want to stretch out much anymore. And that's just using a toilet paper roll. Yeah, so sorry you're hurting. But, but yeah, uh, Diana, that's, that's crazy that they're like three to five hours long because that's just not enough time. Uh, most of ours are one day. There's a few of them that are two day. And uh, they're from nine to usually a full day, a pretty full day. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and move this one out of the way. All right. 
the head is on the right and a foot is on the left. Okay, because that would be opposite to me because I'm on the top and usually, so let me see. I always got to remember when you guys tell me when you see things to the right or the left, it's opposite for me because I'm at, I'm up here at the top of the camera. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna get, move this one, this next one over here. Now this is gonna be a short live stream today, guys. I've uh, got a ton of stuff I have to do and I have to go get a couple of things at the store to be able to finish up a couple of projects. So it's just gonna be these two, um, these two canvases today. Oh, you're gonna ice it right now? Yeah. Yeah, I totally get not wanting to let it hold you back. Totally get that. So I mixed up a bunch of paint and used it this weekend in this uh, cottage cheese container. We're going to pour our paint right in here to finish using. There's just a little bit of the blue left. That's awesome. H7, I'll have to turn it around and take a picture and put it up, turned around the right way. Some weird frog. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, just putting two drops. I wasn't sure if I was going to get one or two out there, but we got two drops of that's the treadmill oil silicone. And that's neon purple. And then we're going to use some turquoise in this one as well. And yeah, uh, the bazaars, the uh, art fairs and everything, they take so much work to set up. There's no way I wouldn't do a three to five hour one because it's it takes me two hours to set up and two hours to tear down for the smaller ones. For the large one, I, a whole day. We, we set up on Friday before. All right, let me grab some pink. I have some pink here. Quite a bit of that pink. Ah, uh, no, uh, well, yeah. I kind of do. I buy it by the caseload. Let me show you. But my paint is mixed with stuff. So you're not seeing pure paint. You're seeing one part paint to two parts pouring medium, sometimes three parts pouring medium, and a little bit of water. So it's not straight paint. I've mixed it to be a fluid acrylic to make it more fluid. And um, a lot of my paint is this, this brand. And then it's mixed with flow trawl and paint. And this one happens to be mixed with some Liquitex pouring medium as well. So, um, but this is my favorite brand. I buy these by the caseload, but it's only one part paint. I'm gonna finish off this purple as well. And throw a little bit more turquoise, and then we're going to pour. And that's going to be way more paint than I need for the size of canvas. Let me move those over. But I can use this also in some other projects, too. Hey, Amber, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a little while. Are you feeling better finally? So, all right, so I'm going to now pour this in a dirty pour, just kind of a random dirty pour. And I said, oh, that's going to be so much paint. I actually think I need some more paint, guys. 
that was kind of funny. So I am going to pour a little bit more in here. More turquoise. And I'll have to grab some more blue. But I'm going to go ahead and stretch this and see what we end up with. And then we can kind of. And I'm trying to be kind of delicate and only very lightly stretching this out. Sorry, guys, if I'm missing anything in chat, I'm kind of paying attention to this one here. Okay, now I'm going to grab the ultramarine blue, get a little bit of blue in this, and then I'm going to pour a little bit more uh, over on a couple of the edges. All right, now we'll tip it a little bit more. I might catch up with the... Oh, all right, great, you're feeling a lot better. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the problem is sometimes you mix too much paint and then you got to keep doing more and more. Um, that's what's nice about the bottles is you can just paint, you know, have it ready to go in the bottles for quite some time. Now, sometimes I will help it with my finger. Try not to drip on the one behind that we had just, I had just done. I say we like we've been doing it together, but that's okay. I feel like we do. When you guys are here, we're hanging out with me. We are doing it. I'm going to help this little edge, help right here. <laughs> well, uh, Diana, it takes all year long to get, get ready for the holiday season. Right now, I have approximately, because, you know, the holiday season is, for me, it starts October 26th is my first bazaar. So it's a, it, and if things take, you know, a month to dry, you know, to be completely dried, varnished, it takes a month. So I have to have stuff finished now to be ready for that. So, oh, yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> but um, right now I have approximately 150 paintings, probably 16 to 18 jewelry boxes, uh, probably about 60 to 70 coasters, um, probably about 50 magnets, about, I'd say, 60 or 70 light switch covers. So, I mean, I've done that throughout the year to get ready for the craft bazaar season. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of work. So, um, especially because things take a whole month to dry. 
Am I right? Oh, yeah, if I pour out, I've done some uh, somewhat, I've been practicing uh, some still lifes and some different stuff. Uh, uh, definitely, I think I can, especially if it's just like a couple of pears or I've done lemons. I kind of poured some lemons before, but let me get this edge here, guys. I was waiting to see if it kind of, the paint will spread kind of by itself, seeing what it was going to want to do. But it definitely still needs some help over here. But that's how many coasters I have done already. But yeah, I'm not making any more coasters. Um, my problem with, um, have you like tested your coasters and stuff? When I make, I've done high enamel, high engine, high heat engine enamel. I've done resin. I've done like so many different projects, products. And the coasters still stick to the cup. And like if you have a really hot cup, it'll stick or there's several different problems. So um, I don't know. I thinking about selling them as more like art tiles because uh, I don't want to sell them as coasters. I can't guarantee them as coasters. I don't really like that. Hey, Lily. Welcome. Welcome. I about missed you there. Sometimes I get concentrating on the painting so much. I, I feel bad. But welcome. How you been, Lily? Yeah, everything takes, well, it takes about three weeks to dry. And then I varnish them. And that process takes a few days. So it's a month before the whole, it's ready to go, dried, varnished, everything. Hey, May Wynn, how are you doing? How was your weekend? Oh, okay. You do move your RV around quite a bit. Uh, you could do some small ones, and I do some pours that are like on paper, and they dry a little bit faster, and a lot of people make jewelry out of those, and so you could really make some beautiful jewelry pretty quickly, and that doesn't take as much space and time, and I think there's still ways to do it. I'm just running my finger across the bottom here, making sure all the drips are kind of stopping because the drips will pull the paint off with gravity. Yeah, you could do some pendants. They take a little bit less time to dry. Wood dries a little bit faster as well. Hey, Dog Pound, how are you doing? Yes. Yes, and it's neon purple as well. I doubt we'll get much cell action, but might as well get all the bubbles if there is any. I'm not seeing any, but. I've been really, really good. Super, super busy, but I've been really good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, today's going to be kind of a shorter live. Um, these are 12 by 16 canvases, and I already did the one in teals and browns and stuff. It's it really turned out really lovely. And then this one, bright, funky one. But um, these are the only two I'm going to do. I'll probably hang out with you guys and chat with you for a couple of minutes, but it's kind of going to be a short one today. I've got to run and grab some more, um, some more stuff for finishing up a couple projects. Uh, as for coasters, I'm going to try my last try for the coasters. I'm going to show you. I found this product, the Mod Podge, but it's the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. It's, it will focus, but it's dishwasher safe. 
So I'm going to see if that will work on the coasters. But I have, I've used everything and anything on coasters. And I mean, they, they work, they turn out really well. But if you have like a really, really large, you know, people will use those really large water bottles and they'll stick to them if they're too heavy. And a couple of the different uh, coasters, I figured out the moisture, you know, if you have a coaster, coaster your, uh, your drink will sweat and you've got to have, a, you know, be able to hold up to moisture. But there's so many issues with coasters. You got to have it hold up to moisture moisture you got to have it hold up to heat for like hot coffee hot tea you got to have it hold up to pressure with big mugs on it <clears throat> uh dina do you have you have a a whole bunch of pendants and bracelets. Uh, what about Etsy? You could sell on Etsy. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Mike is quitting uh, chewing. He chews uh, uh, chewing tobacco, but he's quitting. And so he, yes, he's a little, little feisty, but he's doing awesome. He's doing awesome with the quitting. Oh, you got two resin kits? Yeah, I've done a little bit of resin, but um, I I need to uh, really look into it more. I, I didn't, um, I don't think got the right resin. I need to get some more like art resin because I wanted to coat the dried paintings and to coat the um, coasters and things like that. And I got more the resin you would put in a, in a mold and mold things and make shapes out of. So it didn't really, it wasn't self-leveling. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Yes, Mike, you got this. So, but yeah, it does make him a little feisty. The first couple of days were probably the feistiest, but now he's kind of over that, I think, so much that I've noticed really. Oh, yeah, I've done that with a lot of different projects. I've done that. Um, I used to do a lot of paper, like um, making cards and little mini albums. And I'll buy a paper pad because I just think it's such a beautiful paper pad. And then not remember by the same paper pad. So, but I'm going to go ahead and run my finger because if you leave it, the paint will just start pulling off the edges. But there's a lot of paint on this one. Sorry about my arm. Yeah, see a lot coming off. You're headed to Tennessee tomorrow. Awesome. And then off to Texas. That's awesome. That's one of my dreams. I watch so many RV people on, here on YouTube. I, I really wish to travel in an RV someday. Yeah, dog pound. That's what we were talking about, something like that, just to keep his mouth busy, just to kind of, it's, it's more like a mouth sensation that you're used to having something there. Okay, uh, Dina. Or Diana, I mean, Diana, I have tried the hard coat. Uh, I have tried like six or seven products. So I tried the hard coat for furniture, the Mod Podge. Now, I don't know if it's because I live in a very, very humid. Uh, I live in the Northwest. It rains all the time, a very moist climate. And it would reactivate. It would be like it was completely hard coat. It would be like good, solid. And then like a month later, if we had really a lot of rain, all of a sudden it would moisten up and get sticky again. And um, I actually called Mod Podge and they said Mod Podge reactivates if there's too much moisture. So uh, yeah, it doesn't work for me for coasters. And 
they said for coasters, it wouldn't work at all because of the moisture you have. So that's why I got this dishwasher safe because I thought maybe that would work. So. That's awesome. Living the dream. That is awesome. Looks like an alien partying. Yeah, it's pretty bright. It's um, that bright neon purple. So you've been traveling on the East Coast. So have you traveled over here to the West Coast, up to the Northwest yet? I, uh, me too. I want to just go in an RV too, but the, my painting and stuff, but you know, you could always do a toy hauler and make that into an art studio in the back. I have thought of that. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, yeah, I live up in Washington state. I live near Portland, Oregon, really close to Portland, Oregon, but in Washington. Okay, now I guys see what, what H7 is seeing. Like here, they're like high-fiving each other, like right in here. I see more of the tentacle. I really see the tentacle. But I'm trying to see the hoof. I probably have to see it from the other direction. But definitely see a big tentacle. Yes, I live about a half an hour from Portland, about, yeah, 30 minutes from Portland. Yeah, I do, I do. I see what you're seeing, definitely. Yeah, the dog pound, but you know, you're stationary too. Maybe if you're moving and traveling, it, you see, you know, um, another, it might be easier. I don't know. But yeah, I can totally, it gets old. Two years and you're like, ah, nah, I'm done. <laughs> oh yeah, Diana sees two, piece, ah, I can't even talk, two people kissing molded into one head. That is awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, guys, I am going to be getting off of here. Uh, it's kind of a short live stream today, just the two canvases because they're 12 by 16. So that takes a lot of my drying area up. And so, uh, <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> you didn't miss anything, dog pad. It's a Monday morning. We're just seeing things. <laughs> All right, guys, you have an awesome day. And I will be back on Friday. And I might try to do an e evening stream or something. I've been trying to think of um, another convenient time in the evening afternoons to catch uh, some of the people that might be at work at this time. So you never know. I might pop in one evening soon. But if not, I'll be back on Friday. And Friday, I'm going to talk a little bit about my journey on Etsy and selling online and some pointers about selling online. So um, I'll see you on Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for that talk if you guys are interested. But uh, And we can just chat, too, after we talk a little bit about my pointers on that. But all right, guys, you have an awesome rest of your day. And thank you so much for joining me. And I'm I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. All right. Have an awesome, awesome day. If I can figure out how to push this button.